Hi everybody, Plant Face Grandpa here. I had my uh, angiogram and it showed 100% blockage and that was good news. I'm not kidding. They uh, found 100% blockage in the small branch off of my right coronary and uh, it was too small to stent and they did not want to do a bypass. I guess it was too small to bypass. So uh, they're going to treat it medically and um, they gave me 80 milligrams of Lipitor and then I go back in a month but no open heart surgery no uh, stent and I keep to eat, keep my uh, plant base eating my diet so I'm happy about that and my wife was happy about that and so um, I've already walked an hour, over an hour today, and uh, so it's good news. My right arm is sore, um, not just where they went in, but all the way up it. It felt like, feels like something was up in there, and there was. It felt like there was a rod up on my arm. Um, they gave me um, an IV in this arm, in the crease of my elbow, and... Um, I went in at 6 o'clock, I waited 45 minutes in the lobby and they brought me back and then they did uh, the IV and did blood tests and I had to wait a few minutes to get all those back, make sure everything was good. They said my white blood count was um, was high, a little high, a little elevated and I said well I was plant based and I've heard I think uh, Joel Furman has said that when you eat plant based that you um, energize your body and it'll to look out for diseases and that causes a high blood count. So I told him that and um, then they wheeled me back in there. The nurse, one of the nurses was named Amanda and I said how many times you've been told you light up someone's life? She said all the time. So said my, I was named after that song and my middle name is Lynn so I'm um, Amanda Lynn. My, um, her father was a musician. And the other nurse's name was Tammy. And I said, well, I got two country music songs. And I asked the, the guy nurse in there, and his name was Jason. I said, so I got a horror movie. <laughs> and I said, oops, I'm making a mistake here. I apologize for that. So I go in there, and this room is huge. And it's wood grain. And it's be that beautiful. And, and they got plenty of room. And these monitors that you see on YouTube during angiogram and heart catheterization that are small this was 65 inch or more monitor right next it's on this huge arm and had these giant bars on the side like you when you look up at the, a dentist and they've got that light and they got bars on either side that you can go this is all the way up and down the 65 inch monitor and they could pull it it was on a giant white arm that was that was huge that you could adjust like a monitor arm and um, they kept telling me that the table was an, was hard, it was more like an ironing board, but they got on it and put pillows underneath my legs, and I was pretty comfortable. And uh, um, they came in, they, they said, no anesthesiologist. The nurse delivers a cocktail. She said, I'll be your bartender. And I said, okay, give me an Irish cocktail. And... Uh, a little bit later, she gave me the shots in the IV, and then um, I didn't feel any difference. She said I was relaxed. She could see it in my eyes that the medication was working. And then the doctor came in, and um, the pain when he did the little shot in my wrist was not hard. It was not very bad at all. And then I could start feeling pressure as it went up, and I could feel it go up my arm. And I'm looking over here at this giant TV screen, and I could see like a fishing line black line in there and kind of wiggling around and then he stuck in the tube that goes up in there and and uh, put the dye in and all my arteries I could see were looking good big giant arteries on this TV screen and then um, he started talking they have these code names for each artery and they were talking the PDA3 I can't get it this way let me look this way and then they just this giant x-ray pod is going around going up and down and, and everything they'll get right there in your face like that and look down in your chest and uh, they couldn't get something was going on I knew it he said okay 
and come around, okay, Mr. So-and-so, you have 100% blockage in a small branch. We're not going to stand it. It's too small, and we're not going to do a bypass, and we're going to do a treat medically, but I'm going to look and see if we got enough blood flow going from other arteries. And that's what they did, and they, he, he poked the wire down into the artery to see if I had enough blood flow for some reason. I don't know why he did that. And he gave me some blood thinner. He said, okay, we can treat it like that. So they took it out, they called my wife, and then they put this clear plastic band that's inflatable that you can see the wound where they went into your arm, into your wrist, you can see it clearly. They wanna see it clearly, and they pump it up with the syringes without the needles. They screw in the syringe, a little old small syringe, and pump it, full of air, and they get it pretty tight. And then I had to go and set in back in the room where I had gotten dressed <clears throat> on the cardiac floor and I had to wait four hours because of that blood thinner and they gave me breakfast but you have to treat the arm the wrist that you um, that they go into like it's broken you can't use it so I'm eating I'm kind of reclined they got the table up here for breakfast and I'm I'm eating like this you know I mean I was trying to do it with my fork and spoon they gave me an egg and a delicious whole wheat brown English muffin that was soft and tasty. And um, they gave me cornflakes. And I was eating a scrambled egg like this with my fingers after a while because I was hungry because you can't eat. It was like 10 o'clock. And, uh, and I ate all that. And then I got home and everybody was happy because I didn't have a stent. I didn't have uh, bypass surgery. And they said I could still exercise as long as I didn't overdo it. And that's what I'm doing. So, 100% blockage and everything's fine. <laughs> I'm, and he said, you won't be able to reverse 100% blockage. But you know what? I'm going to try. And there were some other, he said, diseases or damage in the other parts of the heart. So, I must have blockages there. And I'm, I mean, not 100%, of course. But, you know... It wasn't too bad, so so I'm going to do. I've been eating greens, greens, plant based. Uh, I've had kale. I've had I've had spinach, and uh, I'm going to have broccoli and everything today. I'm going to flood it with nitrates, so I can get nitric oxide into my system. But I just want to let you know, I'm not kidding. 100% blockage. But that's kind of good news, and I'll keep you up to date and, um, on this. And if you're having the cardiac angiogram, the catheter, catheterization, then it's not that bad. It's not that bad. And don't worry about the pain because it's not that bad. The arm hurts. You feel the pressure. I told them I could feel the pressure in my forearm pretty bit, but I wasn't, you know, it wasn't too bad. I was just letting them know. And um, it's funny how they do things. But anyway, eat healthy, do away with animal products and refined foods and eat plants, vegetables, and a lot of greens. All right, have a good day.